What's the GCS for this patient? Is he like zero? Not quite, but you'll never forget the GCS score by remembering the voice of old Ben. Let me explain. GCS is a consciousness score marked out of 15. It's made up of the eyes, the voice, and motor response. Just remember that V is a Roman numeral for five, and on either side, four for the eyes and six for the motor. Before we talk about the voice of old Ben, we'll focus on the eyes, and all you need to remember is the AVPU score. If they're alert, you give them a four. If not, you shout in their ear and give them a three for voice. And if that doesn't work, you give them a pressure stimulus, such as a sternal rub. But tell me in the comments what you use. You give them two if they respond to their pressure stimulus and one if there's no response at all. Next, we move on to voice. By the way, if you want to master your OSCEs and your Vibers, you may be interested in my guide, Never Forget Clinical Exams. Comment OSCE for some free pages. From one to five, they could be voiceless, obscure, incoherent, confused, or elegant in speaking normally. Then we come on to motor. If they're responding to you, you could ask them to squeeze your fingers. But if not, we're gauging by the response to that pressure stimulus. This is where old Ben comes in. From top to bottom, do they obey and squeeze your fingers? Do they localize to the stimulus? They may draw away. Do they abnormally bend? We call that decortica positioning, that they flex towards the core. Otherwise, they may extend abnormally called decerebrate positioning. And lastly, there's no movement at all. And now you know, but you're gonna remember for longer, if you test your active recall, I want you to recall old Ben for me in the comments below right now. And I've got some more memory hacks for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.